solid. It was a little sloppy. I think uh, everyone in the heat had a little romantic encounter with the lane line. So that's how it goes in your outdoor. You just kind of hope it doesn't uh, destroy your 50. <laughs> Do you have any strategy for combating that? No. No. Uh, just, I just kind of hope. <laughs> You pray to Mother Nature that the wind doesn't take control of you, and that's the best you can do. Do you feel more used to it since you train outside? No. <laughs> I think really one of the, the biggest things of swimming is just a mental challenge, so not freak out in general, you know, not freak out before your races. And um, I think it goes hand in hand with just working on, on confidence as a person. Uh, I think this last year I've done a really good job outside of the water. Learning what confidence is really, it's not it's not kind of what you're growing up in the sports world accustomed to saying, I'm gonna win, I'm gonna win, I'm gonna win, shouting it to the world. It's more of a comfort in yourself, knowing at the end of the day, win, lose. Uh, it's not gonna affect you as a person, learning to grow, be able to express yourself in, in comfortable and confident ways rather than just repeatedly saying, I'm gonna win, you know? So I've just really worked on that the last year. And it's shown, you know, I haven't lost a, a 50 back since uh, World Championships last year. Uh, who knows how long it's gonna last. I'm just gonna enjoy it while it does last. Since Knoxville, it's been much better than it was before. I mentioned a, a lagging, uh, nagging shoulder injury since US Open last year. Luckily, that's gotten a lot better. Uh, really just taking it a day at a time. I'm faster than where I was last year before World Trials. Uh, I know I got plenty of time. I'm not somebody, I think, who needs a whole seven month training cycle to, to be fast. You know, I can do it in a couple months. So I'm ahead of where I was last year and that's all I can hope for.